Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for June, excuse me, July 6, 2022. Well, yesterday we had kind of an interesting morning where we completely reversed um, last Friday's nice rally, but the bulls went to work and defended. Even though recession fears are starting to grow, we have a possible yield inversion to be concerned about. We found that energy to defend support levels in the chart and rally. Unfortunately, we really didn't fix anything on the day. So what does that mean for today's price action? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. First off, if we take a look at our, our diamonds, you can see we had a nice little rally yesterday pushing us back up and giving us that hope that we may have a bit of an upside trend that could begin here in the market. We're certainly overdue for a bit of a relief rally, so we wanna watch that closely. But we also have to remember that we are still in a downtrend, and although we did rally, we didn't resolve any of the resistance areas in the chart. So we're going to have to consider that carefully. Can we find enough energy to follow through? Remember, one day does not make a trend. Last Friday kind of proved that, that one day does not make a trend. And we need to get an actual follow through here on the day. Can we find enough inspiration to push through some of these resistance areas and move on up with recession fears kind of growing around the world? So watch that closely. Now our technicals here in the chart, you know, they kind of remain on the bearish side of things, not kind of, they are bearish. Notice our 20 day moving average is right back down here, uh, putting a little bit of pressure, downward pressure on the market. 34 EMA right up here at major price resistance. And we still have our 50 day moving average um, extending that uh, cross of the 500 day. So a lot of bearishness in the technicals that still need to be reversed. So we can't just blindly rush into the market saying the bottom is in. Remember, the Fed is not here to back up the market. They're continuing to remove liquidity and expecting another rate increase just around the corner. So watch that carefully. If we take a look at our SPY, SPY also had a nice little rally yesterday. And notice right in here, we had a bullish engulfing candle come into play. But now the question is, once again, can we get a follow through? Can we push that on higher? Will that inspiration be here this morning? Well, as you can see, we still have a downtrend that we're working on. We still have significant resistance levels that we need to deal with in the chart. So the question is, can we get that follow through inspiration to push us up? Our technicals here remain also quite bearish, that 20 day moving average camping right out there above yesterday's current or the current price action here um, in the pre-market. And you can see 34 EMA above near resistance and 50 above that yet, um, adding some additional pressure to the market. Now QQQ had the best day yesterday. For some reason, there was a massive surge into the giant techs, um, Microsoft, Apple, Google, all and uh, Tesla enjoyed really strong rallies yesterday. But as I've said before, one day does not make a trend. So now the question is, can we follow through? Can we push through some downtrend resistance? Can we break through price resistance levels in the chart and actually get up there and move through? Now we do have that hope of this little upside rally uh, maybe taking over, but we've got to get through those resistance levels. And can we find the inspiration to do that today? That's going to be the question. If we take a look at our technicals here, our technicals remain pretty darn bearish. Notice our 20 day moving average. That's kind of where we ended the day yesterday, 34 EMA above at that stronger resistance and then 
course 50 day moving average still providing that downside pressure here in the market if we take a look at our russell iwm iwm um, also put in a bullish engulfing candle yesterday and giving that us that hope of that little higher low remember we still have a downtrend here that we need to break we've got considerable price resistance levels in the chart that we're going that's not a very straight line that we're going to have to deal with if we're going to make it through that area and once again the technicals here in the chart really pose some challenges here for the Russell if you notice we're going to have 20 34 EMA and 50 EMA right in this area of that overhead price resistance so we're going to need some kind of inspiration to move us up through there is it possible absolutely but we'll want to watch those and respect the downtrend and resistance levels until we see some of those things begin to break. Now, if we take a look at our uh, VIX, um, VIX yesterday shot up, but we ended up with a... Um, uh, a candle pattern here that would suggest that we should get more downside here in the VIX and more upside in the overall market. However, we're continuing to hold on to this upside trend here and we still have a pretty decent level of price support right in there on the chart. So once again, it comes to the question, can we get a follow through day to the upside? Can we push on through some of those resistance areas? We're gonna to have to watch that closely because I think that the jury is still out um, on that if you look at the VIX. If we look at T2122, T2122 is one of those indicators that well, it, it is one of my favorite indicators out there in helping me decide when we're oversold or overbought. But when we push up here into this mid range, well, doggone it, it doesn't really help us out a whole lot. Now, as you can see here in our T2122, um, one, at one point yesterday, we were right back down here. We were in that bearish reversal zone. The rally on the day help us, helped us pick this right back up into this area here so now the question that we have to deal with for today is will those bulls find inspiration if the bulls can continue that bull that inspiration to push up we certainly have opened up a pretty good opportunity for um, that bullish rally but if the bears come up with some reason to re-engage then um, we also have an opening here where they could push us back down so we're going to have to watch this pretty closely today if we look at our T2107, got to tell you, T2107 doesn't inspire a whole lot of confidence because on the day here, as you can see, we were pushing back down. Um, only 16% of the stocks holding above their 200 day moving average. That's pretty hard to make a bullish case on something like that. And, however, there is that slight hope that we held this um, we didn't break down through that little support area and we haven't made new lows here in T2107. Um, obviously the downtrend is still in play. We're going to have a lot of work here yet to do before we can really say T2107 is indicating some bullishness. We're going to need to break back through some resistance levels here in the chart and start seeing that number come up substantially. If we look at T2108, however, T2108 did a better job yesterday. And I think it was largely due to those big techs really starting to uh, find some energy there yesterday and picking up a little bit more but as you can see almost 30 percent of the stocks um, up here uh, above their 40-day moving average now we'll want to keep in mind there is some significant price resistance in that area so we need to see that follow through that push through these levels up here and remember we still have the overall downtrends still in play here on t2108 so we've got some work here to do we've got well, we just have that uncertainty out there. Can we push on through um, um, that chart? Now, if we take a look at our T2101, now T2101, we did break down here through this um, upside rally 
uh, pushing on down. But unfortunately, I don't think we're getting really the best information from T2101. And that's simply because volume remains quite light still. It's uh, even with the back and forth yesterday, our volume was relatively light on the day. So we're getting some um, uncertainty maybe coming into play. Now, if you guys remember, I suggested the possibility a little over a week ago that we could end up in more of a choppy range bound consolidation um, that could exist all the way through to the beginning of earnings season. Now, I think the official kickoff of earnings season will be next Thursday, where we're gonna get um, some of the big bank earnings from like JP Morgan and Morgan Stanley. So watch that close, but um, it is entirely possible we could be in a wait and see for the next earnings reports. And we should be keeping our eye out for the possibility of earnings revisions beginning to come in where companies may start to warn that they're going to miss um, some of these earnings reports. So keep an eye out for those. Those can also be a little bit of a stumbling um, block here in the market. So how about we take a look at our earnings or our economic calendar for today. Our economic calendar, we've got um, a few things that we're going to have to deal with um, here on the day. Um, and you know what? I made a mistake in writing the blog this morning. I just realized that. Um, and we're going to have to be dealing with PMI, um, ISM, and job openings reports here today. That's going to be interesting and could provide some, um, well, who knows? It could provide some volatility in the market. So we'll want to watch that closely. And then keep in mind that we have the FOMC minutes and that always um, raises that uncertainty here for the day. So you'll want to keep that in mind. Now let's watch um, these closely. They could move us around quite a bit um, as these numbers come out. We know that the FOMC is probably going to remain aggressive, but even though that is the case, it, when we see those minutes, sometimes we can either see their conviction or the fact that they're wavering. So that could move the market later on this afternoon. So watch that closely. Um, let's take a peek um, at our earnings calendar for today. Now our earnings calendar pretty darn light and the reason that is the case is we're just kind of waiting for the beginning of third quarter earnings to begin but if we were to take a look we do have a couple of notables for today um, on that first off we have SAR SAR will be reporting after the bell today, so keep an eye on that. Obviously, um, it's been rallying here recently, but lots of price resistance above. This could be an important report to maybe kick this into a bullish mode or provide that inspiration to the bears to push it on down. So watch that close. And then SLP. SLP would be the only other notable for today. And you will notice, and it's also after the bell today, noticing that we're pushing up here into this price resistance level of the chart, whether or not we'll be able to push through uh, that area. That'll be an important um, um, report today if we can pop on through that level or if we find resistance here um, after that earnings report and push it on down so watch that close let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today but before we do that guys if you could do me that quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time i post a video and if you find these videos to be useful or, or helpful if you could please do me that favor click those thumbs up buttons and leave that brief comment now i apologize yesterday i was um, got tied up on several things and i didn't get a chance to answer those um, 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 comments yesterday, but I will be back on the case this morning. So thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that. I do truly, truly appreciate it. And um, want to say thank you to everyone who supports the channel um, by clicking those thumbs up buttons and actually also going through and thumbs upping the, the um, um, other comments in um, the channel. I really appreciate that. 
Um, also, thank you so much to those folks who continue to support the channel through Buy Me a Coffee. Let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up. And before, But remember, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, you're going to have to do your own due diligence and be thinking pretty carefully about the risks associated with this market as we wait for those earnings events to start kicking off and the possibility that we could see quite a little bit of volatility. So watch that closely for today. Let's take a look here. Now, if we look at UPS, UPS, as you guys know, I've, I've mentioned this a few times, this is still setting up and we had a nice little couple of days of bullishness in here on Friday and yesterday um, pushing this back up. You can see this pink line is my alert in the chart. I'm looking for that to break through some of these resistance levels in the chart, but I still recognize the possibility with the trend here. There certainly is that possibility this will continue to rest out here toward the trend. So keep a close eye on that. UPS could be setting up here in the market. You know, some of the um, COVID favorite stocks like um, um, Etsy. Etsy had a nice surge to the upside. And what's important about this move is we're breaking through these downtrends, breaking through some of the resistance levels in the chart. And if you take a look here, we just popped through that 50 day moving average, providing that possibility of that rounded bottom breakout pattern that we talk about every once in a while. So Etsy should be on a list to be watching to see if it can kind of hold or hang on to that 50 day moving average and hang on to that support and look for that next opportunity for that to pop through and push uh, to the upside. Keep an eye on Etsy. Now, other charts that are very, very similar to that, if we look at like Snow, Snow also making that move, trying to push up through. We've broken those downtrends, breaking up through that 50-day moving average, showing that bullishness coming up through here. I would keep a close eye on that. Any um, inside day, any rest or pullback in here, definitely would set up a nice opportunity for the trade. Take a look at um, stock like Chewy. I've been mentioning Chewy for a while, but Chewy made a nice move yesterday, pushing on through. So we did get that follow through move, that one bullish day here. Doggone thing changed um, in um, the tools on me. Give me just a second here, guys. And as you can see, popping up and following through, that's a nice move, holding above their 50 day moving average, breaking this overall downtrend in the chart. So any rest or pullback in here, I think sets up a pretty good opportunity. What we want to do is we want to see it kind of hold on to this trend if it rests or pulls back. So quite a few of those stocks starting to show up in the market um, with um, those pushes to the upside. So I think we could begin to see that little bit of relief come in the market if we can get some follow through on some of these guys. Now take a look at a stock like um, Qualcomm. There's been an awful lot of conversation about stocks like Qualcomm and AMD, that these should have massive upside opportunities, but these stocks are still struggling. So if you are a short side trader, if you want to continue to move with this downtrend, watch stocks like Qualcomm as they rally back to resistance and look for that next possible failure. You know, something I repeat over and over in right way options is how many times does a stock have to fail along a downtrend before we believe it's true? So uh, instead of just rushing in to buy every time we try and hold up a low, um, we still need to be respecting those resistance levels to the upside. So keep an eye on Qualcomm. AMD would be another one of those that just, there were lots and lots of reports that came out. Oh, 50% upside um, on that chart. And it inspired some buying in here for a short period of time, but ultimately moved on lower. And now we have AMD with a major resistance level above in the chart. So if we get a rally in here, Again, I would be watching for that next opportunity for a short trade here in AMD. 
if that continues. Let's take a look at a stock like Starbucks. Starbucks coming up. You can see Starbucks trying to move through. And one of the things we're going to have to be thinking about is with these earnings reports coming up, 726, we've got those earnings reports coming up. We're going to have to think about those pretty closely. Even though we've got this nice bullish pattern in here, will Starbucks have produce a good enough earnings report to support some of these prices? So we've got this little upside move going on. We broke the downtrend and we've still got to re deal with this resistance in the chart. But I think Starbucks is one to put on a list and be watching. That's that rounded bottom breakout again, setting up in that chart if you're looking for that upside move. So watch that closely, but remember to be checking these earnings reports. Now I'm also going to have to mention stocks like Apple that had a, a big strong surge yesterday, but I want to point out that while everyone loves to talk about Apple, remember Micron Energy or Micron uh, put out a report suggesting that um, cell phone sales could be way off because of demand that they're seeing for chips. So watch that closely and remember that as long as we have that 50 day moving average up here and price resistance levels in the chart. This higher low is nice to see. It's nice to get that little relief, but don't get sold into the idea that Apple can only go up. Remember, earnings coming up on this stock, and if it happens to slip, um, then there could be more downside to come here in Apple. So watch that closely as we approach those resistance levels. And I've got to say the same um, stocks like Microsoft pushing right back up into that 50 day resistance. And this is where we have failed so many times before as we've been moving down. And you can see that possibility that we could still fail here, even though we have this higher low. So what I want to suggest on these charts is when we're looking at these, remember we cannot have an uptrend until the downtrend has been broken. So let's break that downtrend here first before we jump long into these trades break that downtrend and prove that we can hold that area up here as support. If we can get buyers to show up here, you want to realize that our entry price is going to be almost the same. You're not going to miss out on much of anything at all, and you're going to have a much safer entry buying at support rather than buying at price resistance. So consider that carefully as you look at some of these stocks trying, trying to push on through to the upside. Let's take a look um, at a couple others. Um, now FedEx received a, a pretty substantial downgrade, but as you can see, it popped back up here yesterday and there may be that opportunity that this could start coming around to the upside. Watch that closely um, in that chart to see if that can hold now, hold a higher low in here and maybe have that upside uh, coming into play. And I've been watching some of these uh, uh, big industrial stocks and they continue to sell off and get pounded down. So we'll want to watch these as well for more selling opportunities. If we rally back to price resistance levels in these charts, watch for that next opportunity to potentially pick up some short trades. Remember, we have recession probably on the way. We have concerns about um, earnings um, this next quarter. So just keep in the back of your mind that we may not be finished with the downside move here. We're going to have to break some of these downtrends and actually prove to hold above those downtrends before we can get very confident confident that the reversal or the upside um, relief rally is really on the way. So watch carefully. So with that, guys, I want to wish you all the best today. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Um, uh, please forgive me for the mistakes that I made in the morning blog, and I will see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning. Wish you all the best, everyone.